All right, Hilda, do you want I'm to turn? I'm going to, yes, okay, mm -hmm. I'll turn if you, Yeah, it, it will help. No, yeah. the thing is, yeah, it will help if we, but can David see it? Can you see if I'm sick here? No problem. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, now, the main, the main lines to, to, to work on that one will be uh, the, the, uh, the rounded or the egg shape of the head so uh, a general line like this he's actually I'm th thinking if he's tilted but he's not tilted he's uh, it's it, it feels like he's tilted towards his right but actually it doesn't mm -hmm. I think it's a now how do I know because of the nose if you drop a vertical line from the top of his head he goes straight to the nose something like this. So, if I have a straight line like this, that will define the, uh, the angle of his head, which is something like this, That's straight down. Then you have the head. Now, why starting with the hair? Because it's the most obvious thing, I would say. It's very, very dark. And, and it's the most easy things to comprehend there. Or the, the, to warm up, let's say you can warm up with the hair, and then your eye will start to focus on details. Hmm? So here first, which is there, there, and top, top bringing that, all that surface, which is a bit like a, like a hat, hmm? like a hat, like this. It's not like a hat, but I'm, I'm seeing things now. That doesn't mean that it's a hat, but I'm seeing that. To, to justify it, to uh, see it in a, in, a, in a certain way, I'm thinking of hat. Hmm? And then you have the hand here, which is an ang angular shape, like this. It's the shadow of the hand here, this one. Then, right in the middle, this is the, this side, or <coughs> that, that part of the bone, of the bone structure underneath here. There. And you have the toe, uh, toe, I mean fingers, sorry. Fingers, there, there, and there we are. So the hand is roughly onto that, onto that part of his head, down. And seeing that the, the uh, check that the, um, jaw is oh, the hand the, the angle of the hand is actually lower than the jaw slightly lower so if the hand so if i have the angle of the, the hand here that means the jaw sorry is that not the jaw the chin mm -hmm. yeah that's the chin sorry it's the chin it's not the jaw the chin is it's roughly higher it's slightly higher than the, that corner here there and then you have The hat like hair and the eyebrows which are uh, in my view they are right in the middle from the from the chin to the top of the head I think the eyebrows are here yeah in the middle so from the chin to the top of the head now the middle uh, the middle line will be there so this will be where the eyebrows will sit there and you have the nose which comes right down here and his lips which are turned slightly towards the right because obviously he's holding his cheek with his hand so that brings his chin that brings his lip upwards huh? it pushes the lip the lip upward then you have the eye Then you have the eyebrow, and then the eye here. And then soft edges for the eye. Eyebrow, this eyebrow is uh, right eyebrow, or left as we see it, just 
it's got an expression which is moving upwards like this you will see there there and his eye eyelid will define it a lot more the eyelid and he's looking away he's looking on his right don't don't forget he's looking away and uh, the tip of the lip is lower this tip is lower here so it's not he's not smiling if if you wanted to make him smiley you could turn you turn the tip upwards and it gives him a totally different expression but in this case his tip tip of the lip is quite low actually yeah and all that area is dark or i'm treating it as dark huh? the effect of that the effect of light you have light here and then half tone all around here so this is what i'm doing here light on the left and a shadow on the right here then the darks under his uh, chin which are here and it creates his neck and his uh, uh, jacket then you have hair then you have hair here yeah and give it a little bit a little bit of highlight of the hair i would say a darker darker shadow all around here and then you have the darks coming and creating where his uh, fingers are um, the th thumb Fingers, not knuckles, where the knuckles are. There you go. The knuckles are pushing the skin tone like this. Look. Upwards. There you are. And then his right eye. This eye is slightly higher than the left eye. This eye is slightly higher. You will see it. When you go horizontally like this, you can see that it's higher there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and the shadow of the nose there on his uh, 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 on his upper lip then also the upper lip a little bit thicker than what I've done already and if I make that upper lip a bit thicker then I need to push down the lower lip and the eye itself as I start doing it the eyebrow as well and eyelid and shadow there okay I think that will be a good start now for you because I think it's it's roughly there what, what I actually wanted there the tilt is good it's not too much tilted actually he looks like he's completely straight but I think he's got a little tilt on the right huh? David agrees as well just a tiny bit, eh, Jane? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't look like because when you stroke, uh, when you strike the, yeah. but I think there is a very like a five degree or yeah. like a four yeah. degree, mm -hmm. and this is what I was trying to get here, and I think I got it. He's a tiny bit tilted here. Now I'll need to use now uh, patty rubber to rub all these half tones out. There. yeah well that's it basically and now give it a, a slight now there is no dark tone on that side of the face but I'm making one just to make a little bit more visible the the dark and the light more hmm? 
to highlight basically the light and dark of his uh, of his turn of his face. And now I'm thinking of something of some highlights, which is basically here. A couple of lines here, a couple of lines here, which uh, will the, this these lines will actually highlight the nose, bring the nose forward, top of his lip, lower lip, there, and here as well, which we said, where the turn of his lower, the part of his hand is right here, and then a bit more neck, give him more neck, it will make him more, huh? more interesting, more neck, there you are. Uh, I think I'd make him looking slightly younger, which is not a bad thing. I normally do people looking a lot older. That's a first for me as well. There. Well, I think he's... Hey, hello again. Uh, let's see what we've done here so far. Um, a bit of shadow coming here, a bit of a highlights on the flesh tone, which is hmm, by the move by the knuckles and make the eye look a little bit more pushed up a bit by that movement, upwards movement. What else we got here? Quite a lot of darks around here. The index fingers there. Uh, the flesh on around here again. A bit less, less sharp, I mean less dark here. Bringing up the hand or making the hand or that angle here a little bit less long. Chin. Dark underneath the eye lip, uh, the lip, the lower lip. Give it a little bit of a not smile, but kind of a kind of a bored look. How would you call that? There. Make the upper lip, the lower lip a bit. Move the darks around here to bring the lower lip forward to us. I would also say smaller iris pupil, maybe not iris pupil. Some half tones around here. There we are. He's for his um, eyebrow is going to be too. To, I would say to express it too big, to to spread spread over on that side. I don't think it's as big or as expressive as that. And uh, the nostril on the. Nostril here. There you have the upper eyelid. Sorry, the, the philtrum, not the upper. What I'm talking about is the philtrum. A bit, a bit. I'm giving it some 
dark, see, which I don't think the guy is. He's a bit of a draw in his. Make it a bit more rounded here. It's a beautiful draw in this one, by the way. Um, bit of a shoulder. Highlight on the his left eye or our right. If we look at it, and because the eye is being pushed upwards, then we have the lower, not the lower, but the The, the, the lower eye bag being pushed up a bit more, so a kind of, a, it's not an eye bag, obviously, because it's very, very young. But you've got the, the bag under the eye. It's not the eye bag, really. Yes, it's too young to have eye bag. Okay, so a bit more. And then just highlight. Darker, dark on the on this. Less dark lines right here at the top of his hair, making his hair a bit more voluminous or fluffy, if you want to call it this way. A bit for four uh, ear sideburns, although he's very young to have also a sideburn, which should give an indication where the sideburn will go. Soften that ear a bit more. Bring the chin a bit more rounded here. More rounded also here. And a little bit more highlight where right the chin there. Lip. Upper, uh, I mean lower lip and the shadow of the nose right here The upper lip a bit further up to give you more expression. You've pushed up the lip by the, by the hand. There, makes more sense this way. And you have uh, the actual small finger here. I mean, the pinky, if you want to call it. This way. There you are. There. Bone structure on the knuckle, the pinky. There.
bit less exaggerated with those darks, less darks, and maybe get rid of that line altogether. That line doesn't have to be there. Just merge with the background, merges the background. All right, okay, okay, okay. Well, we'll see in a while again. There we are again. I've, um, I'm trying to use a little bit of that. Obviously, the, the um, brush, just any brush, any brush. Just take dirt or charcoal, dust from charcoal, sorry, not dirt, dust from charcoal, push it up here, and move it on. Move it to the eye, and uh, creates a little bit of cheek, which I don't think there is any cheek here, so I'm creating, uh, bringing up some cheek here. Maybe it's a camera, maybe it's a lightning, but there's no, but it doesn't seem to be from the picture. So increasing it artificially in that area here. Maybe I've gone too much on that. Especially on this side, on the light side. I'll leave it for a while. Uh, that was a bit was a bit too much let's put it this way so let's take with some putty rubber I'll take some of that off brighten up the nose Highlight of the nose here and um, tip of the nose, of course. Brighten it up. There. Makes the nose a little, a little bit more sharp, in my opinion. It's under the eye. Let's start here. So the portrait and a tiny highlight on the left eye here. This highlight here on the left eye. Tiny light on the on the top of his um pupil and eyebrow, sorry the eyelid. White on the eye, the dotty duct. Some highlight here on the lower lip. And a little bit of actual light under the eye here on the on the left, on his left eye, or our right as we see the portrait is our right. Okay, and also some All right, it's not much to be done. I mean, much more to be done. You know, I can spend another 30 minutes, 40 minutes here, but it won't change massively. The basics are, the basics are there. Bit more cheek. So I said I went a little bit 
So obviously I decided with that dark, you know, it was more than I was intended, intending. Uh, the uh, ear further up a bit more. Bring the ear up a bit more. As in, uh, yeah. I know I'm making it a lot more prominent than what it is there, but it's just to give you a bit more of a natural look. And uh, darks. I need and some right shadow here on the eye. Eyebrow, a bit thicker. There. All right. So, so not not much more to do. I think the gesture is there. The likeness is not too bad compared to some others. Some other portraits that I've done, and I it's more dark here. Here we go. I don't want to go dark here just because it's dark here. Leave that and softly merge with the background. Do you see the point? Darkening what's around here, so you don't have to darken the whole right hand side of the hair that's enough and dark see okay body rubber Party rubber to highlight the knuckles. One a bit more, a li little bit lighter. And this is wrong. One, two, three, four. Not five fingers. I mean, four here, and the, the thumb, you can't see the thumb, so. A bit of an exaggeration there with the thumb showing off showing up you cannot see the thumb there we are all right all right all right, all right. and a little bit of ear i mean let's give him a little bit more ear should be there shouldn't it there we go Okay, I've done it a little bit younger. He looks a bit younger than me, um, which is rare. I normally, do the portraits a lot older looking. Maybe 
Okay, I'll see you on the next one. And before I go, as usual, a little bit of a close up video. What's the date? It's the date. It's 15. Okay, I'll see you. See you on the next video then. Beautiful drawing this one.